What up folks, it's Alex here. Because of lockdown I've been stuck and we're doing lots of tutorials but I haven't really been out and just messed about for quite a while. So today I've got nothing else much to do. So I'm gonna get the bike out, go for a bit of a bike ride and I figured I'd just bring you along with me. But first, let's get the bike out. And while we're here, as I'm out on the bike, as I'm riding around anyway, I figured I'd give you a quick tour of my hometown because I've noticed quite a few comments recently about this accent of mine. Jim. Wait. Ah. So welcome to my hometown. This little place where I live is called Solihull. So Solihull is next to Birmingham. Solihull is a little town. It's got a population of about 250,000, I think. That's how I looked on Google. So it's not a massive place, but it's really quite nice. I certainly can't complain. Anyway, I've lived here all my life and that's where I get the accent from. We live near Birmingham, but not actually in Birmingham. Birmingham is regarded as having one of the worst accents in the UK. People hate the Brummie accent. Fortunately, I don't have a thick Brummie accent. This is sort of Birmingham-ish, but not really. I do get a few comments on YouTube about something like Michael Caine. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. You're only meant to blow the bloody doors. Oh, that's Australian. That's terrible. That's Cockney. That's Londoner. And we're right in the middle of England, in the West Midlands. So, nice little town, really. The one time I decided to do a vlog on the bike and my front brake decides to start squeaking. Typical, isn't it? Authentic English post box. Cafe Nero, great coffee. Costa, average coffee at best. Better than Starbucks though. Yeah, I need to sort the brakes. I want to get back and do my head in. It'll almost certainly just be the pads making contact with the disc as we go. <laughs> Woo! But this is not a tiny little place. It's all there is. With one exception, which is where we're going to go now. This is Noel Lux. Canal boats. Canal. Whoa. It's not a good look. So this, ladies and gents, this is Noel Lux. I don't really know anything about them. Mm -hmm. Oh, there goes my helmet. So, this is the Noel Lux flight on the Grand Union Canal in the English Midlands. Originally, the Noel Lux were a series of six narrow locks, but one lock was removed and the remaining five were modernized into wide locks during the 1930 Grand Union Canal improvement. Yeah? All I know is, it's a really nice little spot to come. It's really good scenery. You can just chill out, have a sandwich, have a drink, take some photos, take some videos, just chill out, whatever. It's nice. It's a nice little spot. I was going to get the drone up, but there's a lot of people here. Um, quite a lot of them. Hang on. Quite a few people just chilling out, relaxing with their families and stuff, so I'm not going to get the drone up just yet. don't want to pee everyone off too much. And the fact it's a bit windy, I haven't flown my drone in months, so I don't want to lose it in a canal, because that would be bad. Let me know what you think of my accent. I'm really intrigued. There's some people that have mentioned it. It's getting more common that people mention the accent. 
Um, I've been speaking to some other YouTubers, more on that to come in a separate video. And they've all pointed out the accent and how I have a bit of an advantage having a British accent in this Da Vinci Resolve space because I'm the only one, literally the only British YouTuber, unless there's another one out there. Let me know if you find them. Oh, I know of one actually, Ben, Ben Mills. What's up Ben, if you're watching. Ben Mills is a videographer. Um, he talks about Da Vinci Resolve. He's an up and coming guy. I'm actually gonna do a podcast with him as well so we can have a chat and get to know each other. So again, more information on that. But generally speaking, I'm the only dude doing this. So yeah, apparently I'm at advantage because of this weird accent and the way that I talk out the side of my mouth. I never know I did that. I always talk out the side of my mouth until I started making videos and then I realized that I do. So, I'm just waffling now. I apologize. These vid, these vlogs, I'm not very good at vlogs. One last thing, I used to feel super self-conscious doing vlogs and doing videos, but I actually don't feel too bad here today. Maybe I'm getting used to it. I don't know, oh, I can't really, because I haven't filmed my age. But yeah, I don't feel like a complete pleb. I'm a little self-conscious, so I keep looking around to see who's watching me, but overall, not too bad. That's a good thing. I am shooting on the Sony, the a7 III, and I'm using a little mirror. Hang on a minute. Which I'm gonna do a video on, because I can actually see myself. I can check my exposure, I can see my levels, and it's actually working really well. It's only plastic, it's a thing, it's probably 3D printed, but it does a really, really good job. Because I've got no flippy out screen on this Sony, so you can't see what you're doing. Now I can sort of get my exposure dialed in, I can have a play and actually try, hopefully, do more of these. I can actually see that I'm recording. The amount of times before where I'd sat here talking to myself and weren't even bloody recording is, yeah, it's not fun when that happens. Anyway. Onwards, come on. We're heading out now to a place called Borsal Common. Another nice little village just around the corner from Knoll. Out in the sticks again. Proper British pub. Oh, if only they were open. If only. Oh. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? All right, hang on. Proper, old school, traditional phone box. I was gonna get in it and jump out, but it's locked, which is really annoying. Now, it was worth it. So this road here we're coming up to, it's a funny old road, because it's a proper, it's a real distinguishing line between the countryside and the built up. So, cross over this. And we've gone really quite rural, and now we're straight back into Solihull. Built up areas, there's a couple of new housing estates just up there, schools, you know, we're fully back into built up town area now. This is the Land Rover plant. It's massive, it's miles and miles long. If you've seen a Land Rover, any of the modern or the old Land Rovers, pretty much area in the world, chances are it was probably built here and shipped over which is really cool. So again, in our little town of 250,000 people, we've got this giant manufacturing plant right next to farms and cows and rural and all sorts. We've even got an airport, which is mad. It's called Birmingham Airport, but it's technically in Solihull. So yeah, there you go. This is my hometown. Anyway, looks like it might rain soon, so we need to get back on the bike and get back home. So I'll see you there. Finished on the bike, went home, had a shower, met up with this one here. This is Becky, my wife. <laughs> Still sounds weird. Oh, we're now officially back in Solio. So all of the Solio that you saw earlier, we're back again. We decided to walk in. How far is it? Two miles. Two miles. Yes, yeah, so we've had a bit of a stroll. We're back in, get some food and hopefully a beer. Mm. Really want a beer. Now that everything's starting to open again, we should hopefully be able to get a brew. What are you gonna have? Everything. <laughs> what are pizza dumplings? Handmade Dump dumplings. Stuffed with pizza toppings. Mm. The Nutella one. It's a dessert one, I reckon. Well, well yeah, well, it should. <laughs> I reckon Nutella and banana might be for dessert. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you think? There's no meat. I mean, this is already. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm
hammering it down. I'm properly hammering it down. And we've got a two mile walk to get home. <laughs> Welcome to the great British summer. We've got a beer though, so it's not all that. So we've gone from just lots and lots of rain to lots of rain, thunder, lightning, and a rainbow. So we're a bit stuck, really. Oh, oh lightning. 